Welcome to Saturday Morning Makes, the open art collaboration hosted by Jill Norwood. I'm Emily and you found Emily's Paper Caper where we're all about scrapping our stash and getting pages done. I also do cards and junk journaling. So today I'm sharing a little golden book that I've altered. To decorate the golden book, I used papers from my stash. I also got this cut collage book from Amazon. I will link to this in the description. Here are some of the cutouts that I have started from that book. And there's also some papers in here. I used some reinforcement labels and then a while ago I purchased a bunch of the binder rings from Amazon. These are great to have on hand and I used them to bind my project. And here's the project. It is a little golden book of my favorite Disney World ride. It's a small world. And on our recent trip to Disney World, I we went on this ride, of course, and I took pictures, and I've incorporated those pictures into the book. I just love the art of Mary Blair. She designed the artwork that's in the ride. So the way I alter the book, I cut the spine off, and that makes the pages six inches wide by eight inches high. So the pages of the book are intact and in order, but I've just complemented them with added pages that flip through the story. I tried to put the pictures near the elements in the story that relate, and then I left plenty of room to journal. I also may try to add the words to the It's a Small World song. Here are a couple cutouts from the cut and collage. The, these elements remind me of the art of Mary Blair. It's not the art of Mary Blair, but kind of especially this one and their little faces remind me of that. So I wanted, that's why I got that cut and collage book. I thought it went so well with this theme. See, here's, uh, here's Venice and the gondola, and here's a picture of what it looks like in the actual ride. And on future trips to Disney World, I can also take more pictures of the ride and add them in here because I wasn't able to take pictures of everything this time. still do some embellishing and things to this project and that'll be fun but the base altered book is finished and I wanted to share it with you this morning here's one of the nesting dolls that I cut from the cut and collage book so at this point in the story, talking about visiting Egypt, and then here's the picture of the pyramids in Egypt. And note the hippo and the giraffe, and here is the hippo and the giraffe. My family kind of tolerates me wanting to go on this ride. It is my favorite one. So they went with me, but I think I may be the only one that's in awe, but they, maybe they just are willing to go along. Here we are in South America and they have a number of the animals holding an umbrella and here is the cheetah 
or tiger holding the umbrella up on the actual ride. And then in Hawaii, this, this is a picture and then this is the element in the book. Not all the pictures I've added align to the story in the book, but for the most part they do. These were some flowers that were hanging from the ceiling and those inspired me. I think I can add, maybe make some of these for Embellish With Us Wednesday. They're kind of a stacked flower and I took a picture of them to remember. Here they are in the scene. And when you get to the end of the ride, they have goodbye in many different languages. And I think that's so pretty. I just bound it with those binder rings and added some ribbons from my stash. And I will enjoy adding to this book some journaling and embellishments. And I just love doing this with little golden books. Be sure to check the hashtag Satmorn Makes to see what everyone else has been up to this week. Keep on scrapping and paper crafting, everyone. <laughs>